All right, guys, so it is this time of the year when everyone starts predicting all the stuff they want to happen in 2020 and, you know, in the next year. So here's yet another video. I'll just keep it real short and quick on what I think would be the trend in 2020 and how you can approach this. Now, again, as a perspective from a web developer, a full stack developer, if you want to enter the field, obviously, you need to know about HTML and HTML5, you know, tons of resources online, tons of materials, books, videos, courses, just go ahead and learn that. Once you're up with HTML and HTML5, the next choice is obviously CSS and CSS3, which is going for going to, you know, just style your stuff and allow you to create more beautiful dynamic pages. Again, spend zero dollars on this because this is all going to be extensively resource rich on internet. You can find pretty much a lot of articles, books, videos, courses from a lot of authors, right? So next is you got to learn JavaScript, right? So JavaScript is the scripting language of the web for now, at least, right? JavaScript is again, very resource uh, resourceful on internet. Like you have a lot of resources, a lot of articles, a lot of guides and all that good stuff. Next, I think which would be a you know a deal changer in 2020 would be react now react is maturing very fast and it's you know integrating a lot of good stuff in the library in the core uh, one of which is the concurrent mode which is still not public but it is there for you to try so react and react concurrent mode would be something to look forward for uh, 2020 right so react is going to be my uh, personal favorite framework for 2020 if you want to get into um, the front-end development part right server-side rendering is also one of the interesting things i can see and for that i definitely recommend going with next.js so server-side rendering is basically your server running your code before sending it to browser so that the browser actually sees um, the html not the javascript files at first Next.js would be my choice for server-side rendering. Obviously, for backend, we always have Node. Node.js is my choice because, well, I'm all into JavaScript, so I try to choose JavaScript tech stack as much as I can. So Node.js for the backend, it is not going anywhere. There's something known as Dino, which is a different runtime environment based on JavaScript and TypeScript, and is you know the usp of dino is that it's secure node has been problematic as a standpoint of security standpoint of view in the past but dino tries to fix that so i don't think exactly 2020 would be the year for dino but it's good to just keep an eye on this what this is and you know how how it's progressing next i believe um it would be interesting to keep an eye on ionic ionic 5 i guess um I don't know exactly if it is uh, there for us to use right now. So whatever, Ionic's latest version. Now, because devices are becoming more and more powerful, the thing is, Ionic is getting closer to native experience because your devices can actually uh, uphold the, that JavaScript and HTML and CSS and perform native animations at 60 FPS and stuff like that. So it would be interesting for web developers to create mobile applications really quickly just with their HTML, CSS, JavaScript skills. Similar to Ionic, I believe React Native also has a great role to play in 2020. It is moving ridiculously fast and, um, you know, as React is evolving as a UI library, React Native is also evolving because that is like one hell of a dependency of React Native, right? So this is another thing. I believe Angular would also be something you want to keep on your list now angular 9 is just around the corner you can see it's it's almost there but still a long way to go so angular personally i have used it um it's great if you have the whole project laid out in your mind and what what the project should look like and you know you're working on a medium to large scale applications but for i don't know for smaller applications and at least for my projects i've seen that it's a bit of an overkill so angular Put it in your tech stack bucket list if you want if you like 
the architecture of angular like all that discipline and everything but uh, for me i sometimes like to think do things my way like lay down the ru rules and basically just need a little space to breathe right and react provides me for that so angular is definitely something we can consider for 2020 but uh, yeah with a grain of salt at least from from my side again view is also something view angular and react these three frameworks are always on the top of my mind if you ask me any framework you want to choose i'll just recommend you one of the three so view is also there for you to try so that is something to look forward to as well 2019 hasn't been exactly the year for WebAssembly, but it is catching up real quick so WebAssembly or wasm is something which would get a bit more spark than 2019 in 2020 so i'm definitely sure of that it's catching support really quick for a lot of languages and you know mozilla is working really hard on this so wasm is something i think you should just keep on your on your view list like just keep an eye on that because it's going to be popular one day definitely but uh, still a lot of work needs to be done on the web assembly next i believe is machine learning on the web tensorflow JS is um, was released in 2017 I guess and uh, has actually brought a lot of awesome support for machine learning on the web and I believe 2020 would see even more progress on this thing so if you like machine learning and if you like web development this is like one of the areas you can exploit very well because not a lot of people are both good in machine learning and web development so this is your chance in 2020 to bring ML and web development together. Now blockchain, again, blockchain based tech is not blockchain, blockchain. There we go. So blockchain based tech is also like, you know, obviously it has reached its saturation point, I guess. And now the curve is like coming a little bit down, but still, if you like that cryptography stuff and you know how a sense of security is created when you use blockchain it's good if you can get involved into this now there are a lot of resources for blockchain as well online so you can just go ahead and use it to your advantage right so blockchain is something you can put in your bucket list as well so yeah that's basically it for me in 2020 what i'm going to look forward to now i might have missed a lot of technologies i know like native script and you know other stuff which could be used instead of like react native like flutter and you know other frameworks except for react angular and Vue. but again this is more or less like the gist of what i had in mind so let me know in the comments what you think would be a hot tech in 2020 and we're gonna discuss over that real quick so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one.